Yes, yes, people. Welcome back to the Mike Bay Channel on TV. Welcome to St. James's Park. We're just going to do the match reaction here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to sit. Let the crowds die down as the temperature drops down. As these Cassie United <laughs> ease to a win against my United. 1 0 in the end there. Should have been more. Should have been more comfortable. But uh, we've done it. Listen, three points in the bag. Well deserved. Dominated the game. And we'll go fifth in the table. Nick has to go into the top five. That's what we'll love to see. I'm not sure if I'll get kicked out at some point by our stewards here. There's no fan camps tonight since it's after 10 o'clock already. And it's been minus six. There's a match day vlog coming as well as this match reaction. But uh, what a win that was. And I tell you what, thoroughly, thoroughly deserved. You know what I mean? We bossed that game. My United never had a sniff. I think apart from what Garnock drew his chance in the first half and then a goal that was rightfully ruled out in the uh, closing stages there from Anthony went to VR I was right in front of him there he was miles offside never in doubt but Newcastle thoroughly deserved that win we were brilliant tonight and again the same 11 it is the my voice is gone by the way people not drunk or anything like people thought last time after the fan cams I'm just uh, I'm actually on the uh, cups of tea and now the Robinsons but uh, I am uh, my voice is definitely gone my voice is definitely gone there we go Getting kicked out now by the people, so and I, I'll come back here. I'm getting kicked out by the stewards, so I'll finish this match reaction off in a minute. Just about survived staying in a St. Jimmy's part there from the pitch. Let's see how long it takes to get kicked out of this bit. I'm just trying to stay in the warmth, really, and just trying to stay before uh, we do the match reaction. I'd say where people would jump in and stuff, which I don't mind, but at the same time, now I just want this uh, match reaction done and to, uh, to crack on and get you out, to be fair, because it's absolutely freezing outside. But Newcastle were brilliant tonight, especially from the start. Like I said, it was the, f the same 11 that played against Chelsea and PSG for the full 90, really, apart from obviously the injury to Martin, not the Martin Rafka. He was on that came on and replaced the injured Nick Pope. So Pope is another one that adds to the injury list. But to be fair, if there was one area of the pitch that we were strong in for an injury to occur, it would be good goalkeeper department, because that's what our bench is full of these days goalkeepers and youngsters. So, um, actually, I might want to make sure I'm not getting locked in here because after the last game, I nearly got locked in, didn't I, against, uh, was it Milan? No, not Milan, Dortmund, whoever it was. Dortmund, I think. Uh, so I'll head up here and make sure we're not getting locked in. And the doors aren't closing behind me, that's probably important. To be fair, I should probably just finish this match reaction out here, shall I? Let's just see what's happened up here in the concourse. It's still going on, Junior. So, I so, like I say, Pope went down with an injury, it looked like a knee or a shoulder issue, some sort of dislocation or something as you can see the St. James Park pitch behind me there in the background but um, Dubravka came on didn't really have too much to do collected one from a corner nice and easy but uh, apart from that like I said it's the same 11 battling it out again you've got to give huge props to those lot who are playing their heart out for Newcastle United Anthony Gordon let's start with the goal scorer Anthony Gordon as he yet again was sensational Southgate are you watching he's out there watching the European draw for the for the group stages for the Euro 2024 he needs to be watching Gordon you've got Rashford there getting picked ahead of him do you know what I mean and Gordon is totally outshined the league has all season what's that a few goals now for Gordon is it his fifth sixth goal of the season a few assists as well he has been absolutely unbelievable and uh, he slots at home after Newcastle in the second half, finally take the lead because in the first half, we should have easily took the lead. Listen, that first half, we should be 2-3-0 up. We're wasting chances. We're not quite clinical enough. I was a bit disappointed in how little we were testing on honour. To be honest, we've seen these calamities during the week against Garland Tosserai. I was saying in the preview, shoot on sight. I wanted to see more shots on him, more effort on him, more trouble his way. Well, I don't think we're causing enough problems, really. But we caused the defence problems. We ran them ragged. We were completely in control that game, we were dominating it, we were brilliant. I thought Louis Maley was fantastic yet again. Young 17-year-old Maley was sensational. Middle of the park there, 17, man, it's just ridiculous. Tell you what, one good thing that can sometimes come out of an injury crisis is having no option but to give the youth a chance. And you've kind of seen that before with when Rashford broke through at Manu. To be fair, when Rashford broke through at Manu, I'm closing doors now, isn't it? Oh, right, right. I didn't want to get locked in again, like, to be fair. <laughs> that nearly happened in the last game. Right, I'm, <laughs> I am literally uh, one of the last out again to the stadium. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll head out now. Good night, mate. See you later. So, I, uh, like I say, one of the good things that can happen with uh, injuries 
is a player getting given a chance. And I mentioned Rashford got a chance for Man U in his career. And look where his has went until tonight, until recently. Anyways, I mean, last year Rashford was quality, wasn't he? But um, and the same thing's happening with Miley now. Jimmy Miley is taking his chance. He has been absolutely quality. I'm just letting this run by the way. I'm not one to edit things out and stuff like that. You know how it is with me. It's raw. It's natural. We'll keep it going while the doors close behind us and I'm getting kicked out and everything. Who cares? Jimmy will run with it. Um, I'll actually show you as quickly because I can hear the atmosphere down there as the fans leave. It bounced from St. James Park in the freezing cold. Just for the news lot, the one from Newcastle as well. I know we've got viewers all over the world. You can see the two normally there leaving in the droves. Still singing, still buzzing. Below the uh, Shiro statue there. You know, what a night, what a night for the two Army. And I mentioned Miley breaking through, I mentioned Gordon. I've got to give a shout out to Julian as well. I thought Julian was fantastic. And he was bossing it in the middle of the park, got himself a yellow at the end for screaming in the linesman's face. <laughs> but that's Julian for you. Um, at the back, Lascelles and Shaw, brilliant, absolutely brilliant, solid. Trippier and Livermento on the fullbacks, absolutely superb. Livermento again, he's getting loads of ovation from the crowd, you know, getting loads of chance. He was quality. Alan Moran working his socks off. I thought his, his passing was a bit off in the first half, his decision making sometimes, but uh, still a team effort and eight. I'm just buzzing to beat my United. I said in the preview, and I've said it before, it's a huge game against these, against my United. Bit of rivals from the 90s, stealing Premier Leagues and FA Cups off us. Bit of rivals now, Ken Hall against Howe and, and Stephen Carabao Cups off us. Like, this is a big game against these. I always want to beat my United. We, didn't, we, we beat them in 8 1 0. It should have been more. It should have been more. We destroyed them. Absolutely destroyed them. Never in doubt that one until the Navy uh, end as of the game where you think, oh, it's only 1 0. They could snatch something here. And uh, that was always the fear. But, you know, we totally and utterly deserved that win. We dominated them. They didn't show a thing. They were poor. They were really bad, to be fair. I said I don't fear my United and I tell you what I said to the bloke next to me there at the end there my United right big old my United biggest club in the world and all that merchandise fans all of that not one of them players wants to play for my United not one of them players wears that Manchester United badge with pride and actually wants to represent the club whereas Newcastle United is the complete opposite every single one of them players is proud to wear the black and white shirt plays for the badge and plays for Eddie Howe and that is the complete opposite for Ten Hag and Manchester United. We have a team spirit, we have a togetherness, we are united, my United are man divided. They are broken, absolutely broken. Shadow of their former selves. Easy win in for Newcastle. Could have and should have been more on another night, especially if we had a bigger squad, players to bring on, other players to play. But I'm buzzing for the lads, I'm buzzing for the fans. It's a brilliant night here for the tune. Fifth in the league now. Let's go. Big game next week against Everton on Thursday night. Spurs next Sunday. I'll well, tell you what, magpies are flying high. Even though a few magpies, they're down there in the bushes, you know what I mean? They're falling and they're injured. We're still doing bits. So proud and pleased for this team. Drop your thoughts with all people on tonight's game. Subscribe to Magpie Channel TV. And I'll see you in the next one.